You hear the bird? <clears throat> you hear the silence? You hear my voice? <laughs> Breaking up the silence. Actually, this is the one of the best moments of the day. The horses have been out in the field. Everybody is eating. Kabul has a fat belly, so he's not uh, getting extra food. He has to do it uh, this night with, with some stroll. This is rest. This is a moment of calmness. This is the best moment of the day to me. Everybody's doing their own thing. Little Tibor, who has a wound, who has been castrated last week, is still walking a little bit up and down. He's checking his email. There was another horse in his field, so he has to do some, some jobs, some things. Check it out. Kabul's sleeping, but now he's awake because I'm walking up and down. And there's actually nothing going on. Or is there? To me there is. There always is something going on with the horses. I'm always checking <coughs> the horses. How do they feel? Do I feed them enough? Is they, do they feel good? Are they, they, are they well fed? Or is there something wrong with them? Then I check their, their color of the skin, the body. Check out every day. Do a checkup to know something about the benefit, uh, the welfare of your horse. Let's go down to where his now small dog is jumping on my leg. So, <laughs> yeah, pasa. This is a moment of calmness and they all have these patterns. And a pattern is very important for a horse to have. A pattern of the day of a program. In nature, they all have rituals. They have their own ways of dealing with situations. And, well, they all have a pattern. They have a pattern, a sexual pattern. And some people say of, of, of stallions, oh, but stallions cannot have sex and that's very sad and very bad. Yeah, well, let's look at nature. How many months does a stallion does not have sex? Around 11 months or something. Because the mares are in, in, they have the filly in their belly and they are not into sex. So a stallion has to learn, and he can, because it's nature gave him this capacity, to control himself, to keep himself under control and to work on his relationships during all his life uh, when he's a hurt uh, stallion. So a stallion has to take control over his, his mind, his body, uh, and that's very important for him. If he is sexual, too much interested in mares, then the mares would go away from him. And I studied the behavior of wild horses, and there have been many, uh, or many, there have been, been moments that people were explaining that a stallion was misbehaving and that the mares left him. So, I spoke uh, with several people of Spain, and perhaps you, if you know me, you know, you will have found out that I like these Spanish horses. And these males, uh, these Spanish riders, said to me, well, you know, we don't ride mares because we feel sorry for the mares, because a mare is, is not able to uh, control herself. To, If she is in season, if she wants to have sex, she's, she's totally lost her mind. The hormones are taking over. And he had a point there. So these boys, these two boys, have to learn how to behave themselves. And they can. Having self-control is something very important in nature. If you are a horse and uh, most horses walk away for something they don't know or they, they're not aware of or they don't know yet, they're curious but also fearful. If you cannot get yourself under control, you might get hurt. You might walk yourself to death, uh, your panic will take over and panic and fear is, is our emotions which Fear helps, but panic is always wrong. And well, 
you you will know that, uh, that the panic is wrong. It gets gets you into trouble. So these horses have to learn. Each horse has to. All horses have to learn to control themselves, emotional, physical, and be able to to live a life no matter where you are, where you live. Now, now looking back, because Kabul is trying to do something with the water. I don't like it when I have to fill it again. No, it's going all right. Being in control of yourself uh, is very important. And when you are uh, calm yourself, uh, or at least emotional in balance, you are able to deal with all, almost all horses. Horses understand this calmness. They understand self-control. That's what gives them strength. They don't understand panic. Panic for them is an emotion they dislike. And anger, panic, uh, they are also, they're actually the same emotions. 